Alright, hey guys, Thailand's here today, and uh, really, this video is just going to be about um, my tournament this weekend, or last weekend, I mean, that I uh, fished in. It was the Texas uh, Junior Bassmaster State Championship, and uh, it was a really tough tournament. Uh, I think only nine kids brought in fish out of like 50, and uh, I was one of the kids that brought in fish. I caught two fish with a weight of like 3.3 something but uh... the winner of the tournament actually had uh... like nine pounds or something um, i got sixth and pretty much everyone around me one kid caught six pounds everyone else caught like anywhere from 3.50 to 2.43 so i was kind of middle of the pack kind of kind of not, but, uh, the bait that I was throwing was the, uh, Striking Rage Craw in that little Alabama Craw color on a 3-0, um, EWG hook by Gamagatsu with a, uh, one -fourth, uh, Striking Flipping Tungsten Weight in the black color with a, uh, 6 cents peg to peg the weight. It was really, really windy, I mean, 40 mile an hour gusts. Uh, three four foot rollers, really cold, and uh, that just made the tournament really hard. So uh, basically, what we did to uh, catch fish on my boat was we uh, went and found the coves, the creeks, everywhere where um, the fish were kind of getting out of the wind, and still even then they were just turned off. They weren't biting anything. We found lots of bedding fish. Um, we couldn't even get them to bite anything. Ten twelve casts, and uh, they just wouldn't take anything. But, uh, yeah, I was fishing that on a, a skeet reef with a canin, probably my favorite setup for anything. Um, 40 pound braid, like usual, flipping. And, uh, just that Strike King Rage Craw in the Alabama Craw color. And I caught one in the uh, black and blue color. And then all my smaller fish came off this blue craw color that didn't keep. But, probably my favorite flipping craw is going to be the Striking Rage Craw. Got them in a bunch of different colors here. Love these baits. Gonna have to go get more colors. Um, you can pretty much do anything with these baits. Stone Martin Jig, Texas Rig them, um, throw them on chatter baits, uh, swim them, uh, swim jig, football jig. They go great on football jig. But uh, that's the rig I was fishing, was this little crawl um we couldn't get them to hit any any moving baits we couldn't get them on like a crank bait a spinner bait a jerk bait through i threw a buzz bait early in the morning up in the coves where the wind wasn't as as bad um i got one little dink on it it was like eight inches so uh i put that rod down picked up this craw about third fourth cast it was originally um a three o'clock oh, weigh in, weigh in at three o'clock. But since the wind was so bad, they just called us in at twelve with whatever fish we have. We had and uh, pretty much everything that I caught came off these little rage cross. And uh, that's how bad the winds were, guys. It was a uh, a bad day to go fishing. You know, middle of March. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's what I fished. It was probably a two day trip. Left Friday, got down there. Saturday, I got a hotel, went to the little seminar down at the uh, Castles and Boykin uh, boat ramp. They had like a a big, um, what do you, what would you call that? Like a a pavilion type thing next to the boat ramp, and it it was pretty cool. Um, I have some pictures, but I'll probably post those on my uh, Facebook channel or Facebook uh, page, and uh. Uh, I might I might be able to get them in here, but if I don't, don't get uh, mad. Just check them out on my Facebook channel at uh, Nate McKinney, um, Tight Lines for Life 98. Um, you can check them out there. But yeah, that's the rig I was fishing. Just a little rage craw. Um, pretty much all I was doing was I was finding big patches of grass where the wind wasn't as bad and throwing it to the edge of that, and they they would uh, come out and get them. But I was really thinking they were going to be on the uh, the square bill bite, but that didn't work out. 
much. Yeah, guys. Um, I'll do a, when I hit twenty five subscribers, I will um do a big giveaway. I mean, a big giveaway. Like I'll give away four or five bags of plastics, a couple hard baits, and uh, maybe a uh, spool of suffix eight thirty two um braid. Um, most likely, what I'll be giving away is some Lake Fork Tackle, some Stanley Rivets, and a uh, thing of Rage Cross. So, yeah guys, um, if you want to be a part of that giveaway, just uh, subscribe first, um, comment, leave a comment, um, ask me a question, and uh, ask me uh, anything you have, uh, any kind of question. And uh, if you want to be a part of the giveaway, just um, comment and say, I heart Lake Fork Tackle. Uh, so, yeah, guys. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, Lake Fork Tackle. Great bait company. Check them out. I'm pretty much trying to switch all my baits over to their to their line of baits. But um, they got a couple gaps in their uh, lineup. They're... They're not. They're an old company, but they they're they got good baits. Um, there's a little ring fry. I'm, I'm really wanting them to come out with a. Uh, they have a craw, but I'm wanting to come out with a, a craw like a rage craw or a pocket craw. I want the little craws. They have one of the uh, like the little like uh, like a Berkeley Havoc slot craw or rocket craw. But I'm really looking for them to uh, come out with a uh, craw with some uh, pinchers. So that uh, I can start flipping them. So yeah, guys, comment, rate, subscribe, like, favorite. Uh, see you guys later.